Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to give you a little bit of a life update at the end of this video, but I'm also going to talk about a couple of products. So I've got a couple of cool hats and I've got some products that were sent to me. So I hope you're interested. I hope you stay tuned. Thanks guys. I um, I will I'll talk a little bit more about my dad at the end of the video, but before I before I go that go there, I want to share a couple of products that um, that were basically sent to me and that I've been using. So Jay and I went away to we went up to um, Booth Bay Harbor over the Fourth of July, and I thought it would be the perfect time to try this super sponge. You probably all heard about this super sponge. Or you've probably seen other people review it. Anyways, they had contacted me and asked if I would be interested in trying their sponge, and so I said sure. I'm I usually apply my foundation with my hands, and I usually do the sponge like right under my eyes and things of that nature to tap in. Whether I'm doing a brightener or I don't usually use any concealer. You guys know that under my eyes. That's why they always look like such a mess. But I was really intrigued by this, so they sent me three of them to try, and I took one with me when we went away. The thing is on this, it comes with this really cute, like, little, there's all the little ridgets in there, and I actually use this not only to clean the sponge, but also to clean my brushes. I thought this was really cool, and it has a cover, so you can close it right up. Right now my sponge is a little bit swollen because it still has water in it from, from uh, using it this morning. I love how easy it is to actually clean this off. The darker part is what you would use to pounce in, to buff in your foundation. You can apply it. You can use this one to, I usually kind of pounce in a little bit after I'm all done, but when I'm applying it, I've used this top part. It doesn't at all stain. This part does, but it's so super easy to wash. They say use a bar of soap, so I had a, a, a bar of soap. And I just did. The, I just washed it with this and rinsed it, and it came out super clean. I probably used this since I got it, probably about maybe hmm, eight or nine times. And so far, I really like it. Again, I'm not a sponge person per se, because I usually apply with my fingers. But I thought it was really cool. I'm glad they sent it to me. I'm going to continue to use it. I'll let you know how I like it, but for me it was like perfect for traveling because this was perfect for my brushes that I use on my eyes and things of that nature. The other thing that was sent to me, and you guys know that I use a lot of the City Beauty products. I use their lips, and I know they've had specials, and I kind of miss those specials. I think for me, because I work full time, it's harder for me to stay on top of a lot of the specials and tell you all about them, but I know other people have told you about them anyways. But one of the things that I've used repeatedly on City Beauty is the Hydro Mask. So I was absolutely thrilled when I received a pack in the mail of Hydro Masks. I thought, oh my gosh, amazing, amazing. And I also got a Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. Now this is a SPF, I think it is 38 broad spectrum 38 I have not used this yet but when I was away I used every day and this was also sent to me this is from dermatology DRMTLGY and I know I think since I got this I have seen a few other people that have reviewed this I have not watched those videos so I don't know what they're saying but I have seen that there are reviews out there one is a tinted moisturizer SPF of 46 and then the other is a broad, a broad spectrum moisturizer SPF of 45. So I got these two products. I used these the entire time I was in Booth Bay Harbor. Now granted we didn't have super super sunny days and I'm not like lying down in the lounge chair sunning myself. I wear hats, I wear all that kind of stuff. But this, especially the tinted moisturizer, was amazing. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about these in a future video, but I have been using these. I really, really like it. I like how it felt on my skin, but more importantly, I like the fact that I could put my foundation on over it and it didn't, didn't pill up. So I'm really looking forward to trying the sunscreen that I got from 
City Beauty. I'll let you know how I like that. And of course you guys know that I'm all about these. I love these. These are just amazing. The other thing that I got, that I actually bought, I bought myself too. I bought myself a hat instead of a visor. I think this is so cute. Anyways, on the hat, I really wanted something that had a flat back so I could be in my, say in my lounge chair and I could put my head back and I could rest my head without, you know, when all my broad, um, all my straw hats have the brim all the way around and you just cannot, <laughs> I know it's kind of silly wearing it, you just cannot, you know, put your head back when you've got a broad, you know, a um, brim all around. You just can't put your head back. I have no idea how bad my hair looks after pulling that hat off. But this one I thought was really cute. I love this. I'll put this on. I don't know. I probably didn't put it on right. But I wore this and I ended up putting a, um, I had like a, a, like a fake ponytail and a bun. And I had them sticking out of the back of my head, my hair, with those hats on. I thought they were so, so, so cute. So those were the major things that I bought while I was away. But look what I got. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. This is so heavy. I have no idea what's in it. But anyways, they have a new special coming out that's called a Luxe Package. And they, oh my gosh. You know, when you're feeling down and you're feeling sort of sad, it is so cool to get something like this in the mail. So you've got the bag. You know, they always have all sorts of goodies in these bags. So this is just, I think this is the perfect size little small little bag that you can carry around, shoulder strap, and you can put a few essentials in when you're out and about. I think it's absolutely perfect, but take a look at this makeup bag. Jam-packed full. Holy moly. What is in here? Oh my gosh, glasses again. You know what? I love the glasses I got in my Balsamo kit quite a while ago. I have, what is this? Oh, it's a tassel that goes in the back of the bag. I have some fingernail polish. Oh, these are pretty shades. You know, speaking of fingernails, when COVID hit and we had the stay at home order, I had ultimately pulled off all my powdered jet nails. And I chose not to go the fake nail routine. Um, I chose to just kind of, I want to just let my nails, I know they look awful uh, and they're not pretty to look at for you guys, but I just kind of wanted to let my nails get healthy and sort of breathe in the air. So I've got some Clinique. Oh my gosh, Clinique Lips um, Glossware nail polish, Clinique glossware. What else do I have in here? Jewelry. I have to open this up. And an eye eyeglasses. How cute is that? I like these. I think these shades are pretty cool. So glasses, little cosmetic bag, and this looks like it is a bracelet, but I'm not too sure if it's going to go around my neck, which I think it certainly could. Or I can even add, I think and I could wrap this around my wrist too a couple of times probably. Anyways, you know, Balzano, their story is really amazing. They uh, frequently send bags as a total surprise and you never know what you're going to get. And the nail polish, the, the bag. And this bag, what a cute thing. I love getting the surprise. I love having a subscription bag like this because you never know, like I said, what's gonna be inside. And it's usually something really nice. Body tattoo, probably that you peel on, paste on, or something, I'll have to take a look at it. I'll have to figure these out. But how cool is that? So new bag from Balzano. Just wanted to share some of these things with you. I know that most of you know that my father had passed away. I had put up a memorial video which I had I had made it so that there was no ads running in it. I was going to shut off comments because I didn't want people to really feel like they had to leave a comment. 
But then I remembered when somebody else had had someone that passed away, I wanted to leave a comment and I was kind of frustrated they had shut it off. So I said, no, I'll leave comments up and if people want to comment, they can. But I got so many messages. I got direct messages on Facebook, on Instagram, messages on YouTube from all of you, uh, your condolences, your well wishes. My dad, you know, he... He was just an amazing man, and at the end, I was I was with him when he passed, and it was a peaceful passing, and that was so good. So I don't, you know, I don't want to talk too much about that, but he's gone to a better place, and I really, really believe that, and I believe that his family members were there waiting for him. So I'm super, super happy how peaceful his end was compared to how, you know, things could have been. And I was happy that we were allowed to be there that whole day with him. And then I stayed that night. My plan was I was going to stay all night. I just had a feeling. So I stayed. And um, anyways, YouTube is my happy place. So... I may not be super quick to respond, depending on what's going on, but and now the memorial service is coming up in August, so we're planning for that. And um, we have also, Jay and I will be going to Bar Harbor in August. I've invited my mother to come along with us. I don't know if she's going to take us up on that. She may not, but I did invite her. So, you know, that's yeah, life throws you those curves, and we've been with COVID, we've had the stay-at-home order. It, 2020 needs a total, I don't even know if I want to rewind. I'd like a start over, you know, um, but I know none of that's going to matter. You can't start over. But I just am praying and hoping that things get better for all of us. I mean, our nation and everything is just going through some really tough times, and, you know, to have a family member, those of you that know, those of you that have been sick yourself during this COVID-19 time is just so, so stressful. Anyways, my dad's in a better place and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who have reached out to me and um, sent me wishes and sent me love and held my dad in your prayers. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it very, very much. So to say, Thank you for all of that. Thank you.